Hot diggity, YouTubers! Welcome to the tube! Sorry. Right, just running uh, quick Geekbench 4 just to see what the score on the old uh, 2.33 um, quad core processor is, although it's overclocked to 2.799 megahertz. I'm going to replace that with uh, Xeon 2.83. Second hand processor which has been modded, they're for sale on eBay, and I'm hoping to be able to overclock that later on and get a little bit more speed for the Shack computer from things like MSK 144. Not exactly modern, but we're getting there. So we'll just see what the score is on Geekbench 4, which hopefully will give us a comparison for later on. At the moment, uh, temperature nice and cool, 40 degrees Celsius maximum. Uh, even though Geekbench is putting the processor through some sterling tests. Okay, and the jury is back, and the score is 5,119, and a single core score of 1881. I've seen actually more than that, not much. I think we had the 140 once. So that's a rough and ready idea of the performance of the overclock. So, CPU and the maximum temperature 44 degrees Celsius. Now that's using the stock uh, cooling uh, paste. I'm going to replace it with thermal compound MX2. And whenever I do it, it never seems to work quite so well as the stuff that's on the original uh, cooler for some reason or other. So we'll see. Some of it's below 60, 100% load, I'm happy enough. Okay, there's the Xeon processor in position on the motherboard. No cooler, the cooler's there. And we'll fit the cooler with some uh, paste compound in just a second. Uh, it appears to have gone in okay. They're supposed to have been modded, so I couldn't actually see any mods, but hopefully they're too small for my old eyes. Okay, the new processor went in smoothly enough. The fan was slightly annoying, but it's in. And uh, in the BIOS it's showing up as a uh, Intel Xeon R CPU E5440 at 2.83 GHz. So that's good. That's uh, already 0.5 GHz faster than the old um, quad-core processor. So I'll give that a run on Geekbench, see how it goes, and then we'll see whether it'll overclock after that. Just see how, much, how far I can push it before it uh, won't boot. Ooh, Excitamondo. Run the Geekbench 4 and uh, unclocked, unoverclocked, so we haven't overclocked it. And uh, we're just seeing 5,525 on the Geekbench score, so it's already gone up uh, to higher than the overclocked quad core. And uh, you can see that the processor, I don't know if that will focus, is an Intel Xeon 5440 Harper Town, currently running at. Uh, 263, it's actually 2.8 maximum. That's un unclocked, so I'm going to try overclocking and just see whether I can get uh, a bit more out of that. And the temperature's gone up. I think that's nothing to do with the processor, rather, I think it's that the, the compound that I replaced it with never works as well as the compound that comes on the uh, coolers themselves, but even so, 54 degrees maximum is fine. Okay, uh, we're now into the BIOS, and uh, previously I ran the quad core at uh, an overclock of 20%. It would not go above that, it used to crash. So I'm going to go straight to 30% with this processor and see if, uh, if it will work at that. I'm not going to touch any of the voltages, I'm just going to leave everything it is on auto, but uh, try a 30% overclock. It's supposed to be overclockable, let's see if it is. Well, 30% overclocking and uh, the machine wouldn't boot. Now it's possible that there is some other component on the motherboard itself that's uh, preventing overclocking above 20%. I'll have to experiment with it. I know the DRAM is 800 megahertz, so it's okay. So for now I'll just uh, run it the same as 20% overclock as I did the previous quad core and just see whether we can get over 3 gigahertz uh, with the new processor. First of all, see if it boots. I suppose. 
Okay, overclocked at 20%, uh, just resting, just idling really. I can see, I've seen as much as 3.4 gigahertz on there. So, see how it goes when we're on Geekbench and try and get a maximum value. But uh, we're over 3 gigahertz quite easily, which is impressive. 3.199, so that's 3.2. Sure, I saw 3.4 a minute ago. We'll see. Um, run it at 100%, see what happens. Okay, running uh, Geekbench, and uh, yeah, I think it's seen about 3.4 gigs there at times. 3399, yeah, 3.4 gigs, and the temperature at the moment has not gone above 54 degrees, so that's okay. Would have been better if I hadn't have had to put this stuff on it. This just does not work as well as the stuff that comes on the coolers themselves. Anyhow, that's better than nothing, I suppose. Yeah. It's fair flying along. 3.4 gigs. Woohoo! I wonder what uh, the benchmark will be, though. That's really what matters, I suppose. Well, the jury's in. My 3.4 gigahertz uh, Xeon machine has returned a score of, wait for it, 6672. Applause, applause, thank you very much, thank you very much, I'm a genius, thank you. Not really. And a single call score is 2242 and uh, the overall 6672. So, I should, uh, should keep the old MSK144 uh, running for a little while longer. Temperatures have risen a little bit in the case, but as I say, by about 10 degrees and I think that 10 degrees is nothing to do with the process I think it's the rubbish paste that I compound thermal compound I had to use but there you go just shows you that for 30 pounds from eBay uh, you can take a basic 2.4 quad core machine and take it up to a 3.4 quad core machine using an Intel Xeon E5440 Harper Town but do make sure you buy them modded as this one was. How long it will last, who knows? If it fails, perhaps I'll report back. Or perhaps I'll be too ashamed to admit it. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.